You guys, it's another bloodbath! Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my Invincible Reaction series. We're about to start watching season one, episode five. This episode is called, That Actually Hurt. <laughs> and let's get watching. Y'all don't stand a chance. Oh. Damn, we are off to a crazy start on this episode, you guys. Tell Mr. Lou next time I find him on our turf, I won't be so gentle. That message was for you. Oh. Don't be stupid, kid. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she I'm 20 so minutes late, impressed. but there's no way you're gonna be mad at me. Gotta be on time. <laughs> you're welcome. She's a Just trying to keep the city safe. <laughs> now what? Mark, you have to scare him. Make him think you'll actually drop him. <laughs> I can hear you. I don't know. That, that seems mean. All right, here. I'll show you. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, see, uh, now he'll tell me everything. Okay, but you're gonna catch him, right? Uh, uh, Dang, Mark is working overtime these days. Uh, Principal Winslow, uh, hi. Dang, what is he after? Freeze! Must be that. Your lives worth minimum wage, or do you want to fire your guns in the air so you tried your best and we all walk away happy? Dang! You tread on dangerous ground, my friend. It'll be worth the wait to see me on my best behavior. Oh. Do not miss dinner with my mom on Thursday. He's just having this casual texting conversation while he's getting pummeled in the head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's nice. That's, that works nicely. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> You think you can just punch your way out of this? I he know might. Where the family lives, and that means you work for me <laughs> until I say you're fucking done. I know where your family lives. Ooh. I gotta run, Dad. Hey, whatever that is, your training is more important. Big picture, right? I know, but it's Amber. Mark, we talked about this. Half the time we make plans, you're late, or you cancel, or you just don't show, and your excuses suck. Hold on. But then you pick up the sushi I like, or you leave a note in my locker, or you surprise me after class, and you're not a bad kisser. <laughs> but that doesn't make it okay if you keep doing it. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Is this his family or like a random person's house? Oh, it's his family. Did somebody ask for butterscotch yeah. ripple? <laughs> Are you a good guy? I am. What's his name? Oh. Him? My little heart. He calls himself. <laughs> Your husband. Hey, Debbie? Jesus. What was the name of that place in Bordeaux, the one with the chocolate pastry thingies? Uh, uh Eclair d'Andre? Uh, it was called, uh, Dark Blood. Uh, I mean... <laughs> her to finish the job. Hey, I need my costume back. The only, and I mean only reason I agreed to you being a superhero was because Rex was there to take care of you. I can take care of oh, myself. Woof. Your father only means that we liked Rex very much and we felt good that he was Why? Safe. He's such a tool. Forgive him. What? All guys make mistakes. Don't be a... Whoa! Oh, no. Don't you leave that door there! You missed a few letters. Paint costs money and you got a long ass name. <laughs> oh, you're that guy I stopped from robbing a bank a few months ago. My name's Titan. Who's your boss? Machine Head. That's not a real name. Huh. Of course you <laughs> have. You're a rich kid from the suburbs. What? No? 
I, you don't know. Let me show you what you don't see from up there. What, like right now? You got somewhere to be? Hmm. It's some bullshit. <laughs> it's not a party for me either, man. Ooh, this will be really good for Mark's character development as well. Which one's He looks like us. Kidding. I'm kidding. Ram Seuss from, <laughs> from Nacho Libre. Mom, can you pass the potatoes, please? Mom? Sorry. Oh, she is. I don't know. Do you she think is I should deep help this guy out? In this now. You'd be making a huge mistake. You're a Viltramite, okay? You fought off an alien invasion, saved the country from an asteroid. This is beneath you. Mom? I know that sometimes people aren't who they appear to be. <gasps> oh! Oh, she's figuring it out! Whatever the hell he called it. snake -a -rator. <laughs> You called it a snake -a -rator. No! Forget this! Oh, we did our best, and we won! Smaller. So, whatever. I like that you don't even detail. have powers, old man. Stop! He's not wrong, Rex. Why did Robot let him be on the team? Just so he could, like, take his blood? I just don't want him to make a choice he'll regret. Neither do I. Oh, my God. Killing people. This is going so quickly. Like crushing their skulls, throwing them up against walls. Mark volunteered to help me at the Beckwell Community Center downtown. We do dinners twice a week for anyone who's hungry. I'm impressed. Do not be. He owes me. 7 p.m. Oh man, gotta run. I told my mom I'd help with an open house. I'll see you there. Mark's one of the good ones. Yeah, his time management is awful, but he's super into you. You're all he talks about. Really? Hmm. Well, thanks for that. See you tonight. Hmm. Why do I have a feeling Mark is going to be late? Oh, I don't want any part of what's going on. <laughs> is that why Robot was spying on him so he could learn how to make a clone? And he did it with Rex's blood instead of his so he can put himself in Rex's body? I'm the original. <laughs> So the process was a success. I'll never understand oh. why you do that. <laughs> I need your expertise in tissue growth and DNA replication. I'll make it worth your while. Well, I was thinking some tagliatelle from that restaurant in Rome, and maybe that wine from Provence, the rosé. This battle is beneath me. There is no honor in killing insects. Didn't mean for it to end this way. But I gotta take care of mine. Hope you make it. The veggies are nice and soft tonight, bros. I made sure of it. Aw, oh, thanks, Amber. Oh, she's so sweet. I thought Mark would be here tonight. He really did. He's losing too much blood. Get pressure on that wound, quick! We need him. Do whatever it takes. 
Get a sample to the lab, just in case. I gotta take this. Amber, I'm sorry. I, I oh, have to go. Amber. What's wrong? Was that Mark? I'm gonna make this city better for a lot of people. But some people come first. Daddy! Make way for the king! You guys, I did not see that coming! Come on, humanity. Stop disappointing me. Viltrumite cells don't give a damn. They just won't die. Well, keep trying. I, I got a feeling blood's still the answer. That ponytail was hurting my head. <laughs> I needed to take my hair down. <gasps> you guys, that might have been my favorite episode so far. I mean, episode one was really good too, but I think I was still getting to know a lot of the characters in episode one. And so the shock of Omni-Man killing the Guardians at the end was still insane, but I think this got to me even more because I've just come to care about Mark so much as a character and also the other heroes that we're fighting and seeing them so hurt and seeing Mark almost die. I mean, I'm sure he's gonna be okay, especially after that ending credit scene where they were saying Viltrumites don't die. Anyways, all of that goes to say, I think I just care about the characters so much more five episodes in that seeing another super violent episode like this hit that much harder. Also, Debbie? is on to Nolan for sure. And as proud as I am of her for trusting her gut and going after the truth, at the same time, I just really don't think it's in her best interest. I think if she ends up solving this and Omni-Man finds out that she knows, I hate to say it, but I really think that she would not survive that. Oh, and I just feel so sorry for Amber. <laughs> She has given Mark so many chances, and I know it's not Mark's fault. The whole situation is just so sad. I don't know that their relationship is gonna survive this one, although I was gonna say if she finds out how hurt he was, but then how does he explain that away? Like he got hit by a car? <laughs> I think if Mark wants to keep Amber in his life, he's probably gonna have to tell her. I will say as awful as that fight was at the end, it was kind of nice to see the team come together and work as a team. Hopefully this will have been a hard learned lesson for them. And there's so much that's still up in the air for these next three episodes. Like I'm so curious to see how things are gonna end with Omni-Man by the end of the season. I am so intrigued by this whole undercover cloning mission that Robot has going on. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff that I have a feeling we're gonna see more of in these next few episodes. As always, thank you so much for watching guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every Friday. But if you would like access to those reactions early or if you're interested in full length reactions, be sure to check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Alicia Dweeb. And I will see you dweebs later.